Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> uh, so we are Wednesday, but I wanted to talk about. Um, okay, it's 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 uh, pretty hard to film when stuff are uh, happening. So I feel it's hard to talk about something happening and it's hard to do this thing that is happening and film it at the same time. So I will go back to some thing that happened at the end of the week last week and the beginning of the week because we are already Wednesday but I didn't film anything yet. So first of all, last week I sent my, um, what do you call it, my application to the incubator uh, program, so it's called Bleu. Uh, I'm not sure if it's interesting for you to know, it was I think I already told you a bit about about it in another video, uh, but it's question like why do you want to found a media nowadays? Um, what's the pitch of your media? What kind of um, um, what kind of thing you expect us to do for you or stuff like that so um, so I sent that I I asked uh, my mother and my boyfriend to read it to read the the I just say it the application before I send it and I sent it maybe on Friday. Uh, so we're supposed to hear about it next Monday, I think. Like there is a first selection and the first select the first pro the pre selection uh, project are going to step two, which is a meeting, like an interview with uh, some professional uh, so I guess it will be next Monday that we hear about which project I selected. Um, so that was the first thing. On, on Sunday, um, the friend of mine who helped me on, on the... Um, how do you call it? I keep I keep forgetting the good words that I need to say. Um, on Sunday, the friend of mine who helped me with um, the editing of the magazine is it editing? Let's say it's editing. Uh, if it's not, it will be right on here. <laughs> So, 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 what I, uh, yeah, on Sunday she sent me some pictures, like what she did with one interview, so I can insert you, okay, I will insert one image, like the first one she sent me. Um, wait, wait, wait. So that's the first one she sent me and I told her that it was nice and I told her for example that the name of the city was too big and I wanted the name of the person really big but not the city and I didn't need the hashtag Oh, one it was we, we didn't 
uh, understand understand each other like when i i give her i gave her the um, like the page in my mind i wrote her like it will be the name of the person number one but she thought it will be the name of the person then number one so it's silly stuff but it makes me realize that communication need to be really clear when you work with someone like they don't read your mind and so you need to be very clear about what is what i asked her if she thought the orange for the english part will be easy to read enough and that i needed a space for an introduction of the interview and i thought uh, I asked her if it was possible to make it more how do you call it the question will be more bold uh, and because some and also because sometimes the questions are not really a question like when I when I say something it's not really a question sometimes it's just an explanation or it's in the conversation so I ask I ask her if it was okay to not have a space at every question so she told me yes we can do that but I need you to place the space where you want so I need to do that she sent send me another try, it was one of the first ones she did. So I will put the image here. And we were... Um, we agreed that the question in orange and the text in black was not... Like, it was not good enough and the difference between French and English was not uh, really um, easy to understand, so it was not uh, good enough. But I liked the title with the name really big like that. And I told her maybe the name of the city will be on the um, side of the page and not on the title. And I wanted to draw her what I had in mind, and she told me, "No, I understand like a um, folder uh like a page in a folder, kind of can I say that yeah um and then I also asked her that uh it will be like the name of the person." the subject of the interview and then an in intro and she give she gave me this image and i told her that uh, i like i liked the symmetrical way it looks with the English and the French like that but I was afraid that it will not be really easy to read maybe at some point so we will see with uh, more with the more how do you call it with more content if it's easy or not and she tried uh, two types of intro like in French and in English and or side by side I prefer side by side but I wanted uh, two lines to put the intro more uh, more pop-up and she sent me one image and I told her and she told me but I don't, I don't like um, 
it's not really good and I told her like maybe if you cut the lines it will be better and I would like to have the subject more playful around the name and we need to 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 see how, how it can be and, and then we tried to put the city on the margin and then we need to, um, yes, we need to, we need to see about the colors. Like for me, it's more, it's more logical to have one color per city. Like for example, orange for Amsterdam and green for Valencia and that the text like the like the name of the city and the English version will be in this um, color and then have the blue to add stuff about the water but she told me for her it was more logical to have one color um, for the name of the city, one color for the English and one color for the for the for the water. But it's not very logical for me. So we need to have that. And I really need to do to work more on the text I need to send her. Uh, I also, um, in the interview I already transcribed, uh, I did the, um, like, I, oh, I have my eye that is popping, I don't know what do you call it. Um, so I, I all, Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you hear it, but there is the, um, the, or do you call it, the elevator. Uh, and sometimes when someone push a button, it kind of uh, do a ringing sound, kind of, and it can be long so anyway um, what I was saying was yes I I took the um, all the interview I already did the transcript and I had the list uh, on Google Drive a sh a Google sheet about the name of the places and the name of the event to do um, a map and a timeline. On Monday, I I did the editing of the video, the last video, and yesterday I did some changes on the website. Uh, first of all, I did a page for Instagram, like you have the link in the bio. I tried at the beginning to have the website just, but people told me it's not easy enough to find the, the videos or the last articles or I don't know. So uh, in during several months I put the um, link of the last uh, video directly on YouTube but I thought I wanted to do more and a lot of people use the link tree link yeah I think it's link tree thing but that doesn't make any sense for me to use that because it doesn't give the name of the website and with 
I, I use Squarespace for my we website and on Squarespace I can do a page where it kind of lo looks like the um, Linktree page. So I did one on my website and I have five links like the latest um, vlog, the latest interview, the website, the um, uh, future shop and the future Patreon. Um, so it makes more sense like that. You have the name of my website in the um, in the link, and I don't have to change the link in Instagram. I can change the link in my website. That is, it's more, it's more, I don't know if it's more easy, but it's more understandable for me, I guess. Um, I did that and I also changed on the website the um, how do you call it? The menu, let's say. Uh, a bit. It uh, no the the thing. I I have a blog. At the beginning, I had. Um, it says blog on on Squarespace. It's the articles. I had one blog with everything, like every articles and every videos. But yesterday I did two blogs, one blog with the articles, the content um, about Voyage Chez Vous and one, vlog, and one blog about the process, so with the vlogs. So I can, uh, I can, it's more organized that way. And I also did a launching landing landing page for the patreon because i want to start a patreon page and yeah that's it and today i had some administrative administrative things to to take care of um ah yeah I wanted to talk also on Monday I had a really really good day even if it was the same um it was the same let's say activity than the week before but it was I felt really really good doing it and I felt what I was looking for that that is um, doing things by love and not by fear. I felt it and I'm really glad I felt it because I thought it was really deep down, like it was like a memory, but so long ago that I couldn't feel it really, I, I was just feel it that some days I had this feeling but I didn't remember the feel and so um, I'm really glad I, I felt it again because it means that I can do every, I can try every day to do it like that with jo like joyful and feeling that I'm in in control but in the good way 